and now I'm in Hollywood. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, God. There are the tourists, all lined up in a row to see whatever it is they came to see. I wish I had more to talk about, but I'm kind of resetting my brain for the next topic. <sighs> Would have been nice to have some sort of topic to talk about while I was in such an iconic location. I'll have to come back another time. I am planning on riding through downtown Los Angeles today and some of the more scenic attractions or more popular attractions, I guess, in the city because I've always touted this as a Los Angeles vlog and I've never actually gone to visit any popular Los Angeles attractions. Although, to be fair, the whole point of the vlog from its early days was to reveal things about Los Angeles that you might not already know about. So. Everyone's heard of Hollywood, everyone knows about it, roughly what it looks like. What it's all about. Not everyone knows about all the different roads and stuff that are available for you to cruise on. The other, you know, the less no lesser known attractions. So that sort of has been my goal, to reveal those. It would have been nice to have something better to talk about while I was in Hollywood. Downtown Holly Weird. Damn it. I've got some boogers on my glasses. So that's it. That was Hollywood. Now we're back into sketchy neighborhoods. I've been surprised lately. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, I've been surprised lately by the rate at which food prices have been going up. And actually, I'm not talking about grocery food, which would, I guess, be much wiser to purchase and cook from talking about restaurant food, uh, more specifically fast food, because I remember when I was a kid, I can't believe I'm old enough to say that, but I remember when I was a kid, uh, you know, every place had dollar menus and stuff was cheap, you could get, you know, deals, like combo meals were five bucks and that was like such a cool thing, you know, and it had like the all, you know, large size fries, large drinks, all this stuff. And now when you go to get fast food, if you want a combo meal of some sort, it's like you need to spend eight, 10, sometimes 12 bucks, depending on the place to get a solid meal. And I guess it's not that big a deal because you shouldn't be eating fast food anyway. And you know, there is such a thing as inflation. Comparing 2013 prices to like, I don't even know, 1995 prices or something like that so it's you know there's going to be some inflation i can't really expect prices to stay the same forever but i guess it's frustrating because dollar menus had items on them in 1990 whatever and a lot of places still had dollar menus up until last year but now you know you can't you can't even get a single crappy no actual nutritional value taco at Taco Bell for a dollar. It's like a dollar ten or a dollar twenty or something. You can get these package deals that make it cheaper and stuff still, but there's no they don't have a dollar menu. There's nothing on their menu except for a plain nachos. That is a dollar or less. But I guess it's just sad that that time has finally come. And the fact that dollar menus persisted for as long as they did actually sort of gives you an idea of how much they must have been making off their dollar items all the way back in the 90s. So this came back into the forefront of my mind recently for a couple of reasons. First of all, last week I had a flu, and it's just been a tradition ever since I was a little kid. Anytime I get sick, I would crave Taco Bell. I don't know what is in Taco Bell that promotes such, uh, what's it called, uh, immunity. But every time I get sick, I just crave Taco Bell so hard. So I always go there and, oh god, I want to go in here. This is such a cool place. I'm going to stop and go in here. This is called Barnstall Art Park. 
and it's just a really cool area. It's cool because it's like a preserved area of parkiness in what is decidedly a, an overcrowded, overly dense, overpopulated part of Los Angeles. And it's also just very, it's just a cool looking place. I mean, it's an art park, which I think is kind of neat. Even though I don't understand all of the art, case in point. But it's a cool area. So anyways, yeah, I went to Taco Bell to satisfy my craving. And it occurred to me that what I had purchased, the same four items that I always purchased, like my stock typical Taco Bell purchase, you know, it cost me like 11 or 12 bucks. I don't remember, somewhere around there. It was more than 10 bucks. And I remember when that used to cost me five bucks and it wasn't that long ago. And I guess the reason I'm surprised by it is because the prices stayed, you know, they were lower in 1995 when I was a kid, but they stayed low for so long and then they just shot up all at once. Like I think three or four years ago, you could still go into Taco Bell and get, you know, disgustingly full for, I don't know, six or seven bucks. And now it's twice that. That's just, that's too much. That's too much money to spend at Taco Bell. So I don't know. I might not go to Taco Bell anymore. I'm going to do my obligatory lap of this roundabout. And then last night I was uh, house sitting for my cousin and didn't have anything to eat. So I just ordered a pizza. And, you know, I remember when Domino's Pizza had their deal going on, the 555. And this was even more recently. This is when I was in college, as recently as 2005. They had their 555 deal. You could get three medium pizzas for five bucks each, and they didn't have delivery fees or any of that. So it was a great, it was a, a really, really great deal. Just to round out this video, uh, yeah, the pizzas used to be five bucks plus tax and tip, so you'd pay like maximum seven dollars a pizza. And you know, last night, including tax, tip, delivery fee, and the cost of the increasingly expensive pizza itself it ended up being 20 bucks for two pizzas so it was ten dollars a pizza and it's just that pissed me off man i want my cheap pizza i want my cheap pizza dad nabbit <laughs>